Okay. Let's do divination of the ancients oracle cards, okay? So let's tap into some ancient uh, wisdom, all right? Let's see what our ancient ancestors, ascended masters want to uh, convey to us, advise us, warn us. alchemy the ability to just use any type of um, spice or ingredient or object or items in order to to do spells right um, being able to achieve magic and for it to be powerful by using everyday things and everyday activities as magic right er everything we do right um our, our routines uh it's a form of a ritual right um eh, how uh, how we organize our apartments or our living space right that's a form of alchemy right um cleaning organizing uh, when you do your laundry all that is, um, it's magic, okay? You're collecting your your environment, so that's a form of magic, okay? So, it, you know, what our ancients want us to know is that instead of judging, we need to uh, realize the, what magic is, okay? Or need dominancy, okay? The ability to um, use um, everything as magic, right? As a message, as a symbol, as a clue, right? Um, as an omen, right? Like, okay, so if I see um, the cloud uh, forming in a certain shape, you know, um, that's what this is about, right? That, that's a message. That's a clue, right? It's a it's a symbol that they want you to pay attention to and to realize what the meaning is, right? It's like a, a little piece of a puzzle. Thunder and lightning power, right? Um, I have the ability to when I speak, uh, for the thunder to become more powerful, more, um. Uh, louder and more intense and stuff like that you know and uh, you know because our words our vocal uh, our uh, chakras from head to toe they they become very powerful and activated the more you um pay attention to uh, reclaiming your power and and taking and protecting your power and your energy internally and externally okay so we also have hydromancy right the ability to um see images or um uh, within the water or the or let the water speak to you um you know that's what uh what that's what hydromancy is uh right illusion right uh using all the elements to give you a specific wow i did talk about clouds clouds mystical uh, again you know everything in our environment uh, uh, is 
uh, a form of uh, a remedy, right? Um, a form of also a giving us that nutrition and vitamins that we need, right? Um, you know, but clouds is, is a symbolization of, you know, knowing that that everything is beautiful, right? When it rains, you know, it's like being baptized as you walk through the rain instead of fearing it. It's like, uh, I don't want to get wet in the rain, under the rain, or being afraid of the lightning and stuff like that. It's like instead of being afraid, it's like embrace it, right? It's embrace it that it comes from the heavens, right? From above. Feathers, right? The colors of the feathers. When you see feathers, when you see birds, when you see any type of familiar or animal, it, that that's a symbolism, right? That's a it, it's a clue. It 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 signifies something specific, right? Especially feathers. Feathers is a symbolization of an angelic presence. Um, also that there is a message from uh, a, a spirit guide out there, right? We have aura observation, right? Knowing that we have an energetic field, right? That the more powerful we become, the more it expands, right? The more it protects our, um, our radius, right? So then, you know, this is something that we need to make sure that we always protect eternally and say, God, protect me internally and externally, eternally, permanently. Do not allow anyone to interfere or invade my space, right? I welcome celestial beings, celestial hierarchy, holy monarchy into my internal and external spaces. And I am grateful and honored to be part of an elite spiritual team. Okay? And, um, you know, the more we are grateful, the more we uh, embrace the messages, the more they, um, the more they confide in you, the more information you receive, right? And so, you know, I, I feel like, you know, um, our ancestors are willing to let us know that, you know, everything has power. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the almighty um, gods, you know, and they are here not to compete with each other, but they're here to help us develop those skills, those talents, um, those supernatural powers that we have within ourselves, right? We have to activate it and really protect our head, uh, from, uh, ourselves from head to toe permanently and uh, eternally, right? So that people um, or evil worshipers that harvest energy won't be able to uh, have the facility to fucking invade your space and steal your energy, steal your blessings, your privileges, right? Because, I mean, for uh, if you see individuals out there that are evil, uh, involving evil corruption, and they're successful that's not their that money that wealth that status does not belong to them okay it does not belong to them it, it belongs to divine beings that are bloodlines from god right that we have the ability to change your dna and transform it into holy right due to the fact that we connect spiritually with the divine right with other realms with other heavens right with other dimensions other planets right other galaxies other systems and so if we have the power to do that then we are you know uh, we it makes sense for god to give us a mission and a purpose in life and for us to fulfill it 
and accomplish those goals, you know, the pieces of God.